Side bend to the right. Good, arms out in a soft T, really good. Great. Good, and you, your shoulders look great. If you scooch, good. Mm -hmm. Just a little more intensity here. And then taking the bottom leg down, leaving the top leg there. I'm really thinking about lengthening out through both the legs. Both um, Lisa and Carrie are doing a really excellent job at keeping the, the low back really, really nice and long. And so thinking about feeding out the leg that's on the ground. Holy macro girl. I've never felt such, such, such strong glute meads either. All those fitness classes, right? <laughs> okay, so we might want to double up our mats underneath our knees. Okay, let's do some down dog. Just to find some symmetry in the body. Oh, that does feel good. And you've been working out. <laughs> so here, um, you could bend the knees a little bit here because right now the spine is really um, compressed here left arm comes underneath the right arm left shoulder left side of the head heavy on the ground okay and then let's come on out and we'll turn and face front so we're um, standing sideways on our mats dive into down dog <laughs> great and then let's start with the right leg. So we'll take the right leg and see what it feels like to take it straight back too. So the leg's gonna have to probably lower down quite a bit, Carrie. Yeah, square off the hips to the front. More, 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 drop the right hip. Yeah, that's it. And as you do square hips too, keep the hands where they are. No, don't open the hip, drop it again. Okay, so now you can start toward opening that uh, right hip. So you'll start opening, opening, opening. I want you to keep thinking about lengthening out that right leg. You have a little rest from that weight bearing. Mm -hmm. Get some length in the uh, low back. Okay, so let's do this on the other sides. <laughs> Yoga teachers, you learn this early on, always get out of the way of moving legs. <laughs> in one class, I got kicked in the mouth twice. <laughs> okay. All right, now you're gonna start to open, lengthen, 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 lengthen through, and come on down, child's pose again. Good, yeah. Okay, come on down onto your bellies. We're gonna do a half uh, bow pose into child's pose, stretch out that low back. And then we'll come up slowly to stand, uh, to sitting. Oh, were you? Good girl. <laughs> Take the left hand to the outside of the right knee. When you get tired of mirroring, you just turn sideways. <laughs> That's how. Good, and slowly up, and come on back center. And make your way up to seated by bending your knees and rolling to your right side. So we'll have the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. We'll exhale and round up through the back as you shift back and then inhale. And just checking in, noticing how the shoulders feel. Moving with breath. And I quite like to um, just circle the shoulders here as well. So from here, we're going to come in to thread the needle. So we'll take the left arm just up to the side and we're gonna bring the left arm through. And then we'll come slowly out on that side and let's just um, check in with the shoulders again. Reaching that right arm through, resting the right shoulder, right side of the head, heavy in the ground. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> that would be my lunch, I think. <laughs> my soup. <laughs> I was telling Carrie just before the shoot, I made the most delicious soup for lunch today. Um, it comes from a recipe book that I highly recommend. Soup, it was so yummy. Mm. So good. Okay, we're going to come into lunge pose. And I'll come with you guys, then that might look a little better. <laughs> Let's walk. Pike the hips and reach the heels toward the ground. Okay, so let's, um, I want to do Tadasana Mountain Pose. And you can just start by resting the forehead on the ground. So we're in Sphinx Pose. And in Sphinx Pose, just avoid that tendency of bringing the shoulders up. We'll push ourselves up and back, bringing our knees up underneath us. Sitting back on your heels to stretch, child's pose. So our cameraman just arrived, which is perfect timing because the camera angle is going to need to be adjusted to come up to uh, um, all fours. And we're going to do cat pose. So exhale around up through the back and inhale, extend in the opposite direction. <laughs> Carrie says we're all heroes. That's the truth. Winners. <laughs> that's what a cameraman says. Yeah, and Carrie's just saying that that's going to, you know, feed you too. Okay. All right, we're going to do thread the needle. And then you're going to take that right arm through and underneath. Okay. And then the option is going to be, yeah, or you can even maybe hook it all the way around to your right leg. And then, yeah, so, so Carrie's saying sometimes she just puts the hand up, and that's great too. Do you find this one a lot? I'm feeling the effect of your yoga. We'll open the heart on the left side, and then we'll exhale, bring that left arm through. Rest the left shoulder, left side of the head on the ground. And then the option of taking that right arm in behind, maybe hooking on the leg, opening that right shoulder up. So if you can walk your left leg through and bring the hands down to either side of your foot, and then we'll switch sides. So the left leg will come back. Downward facing dog. And then you're gonna swoop the tail under. And then back to downward facing dog. So we'll just go back and forth between those. Tucking the tail under. So for some of you to be generous, with yourself would mean to stop earlier and for some of you to be generous with yourself would mean to do a few more <clears throat> okay. so come into a standing position and I want to do mountain pose so um, let's take the let's start with the left arm and you're going to internally rotate the left arm you're let me show you here you're going to hold my pelvis like this as i walk down okay, okay. all right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to inhale we're going to reach up and over onto the wall and then the person on the wall can just start walking the feet away from the wall yeah so up and over yeah Okay, so just start to walk your feet out. Yeah, you can. Because she's strong. <laughs> That's because she has really strong core muscles. So thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Good, really good. So this is the thing that I'm talking about is really keeping this. Oh, nice. You just got a little adjustment there. Most. OK.
Okay, and then you can release that comeback center, either um, bridge pose, lengthening through the ascending colon here, and then bring the right leg, bend that knee through and come into pigeon. So just imagine if the front two hip bones are level, both in terms of level to the ground, but if one side might be hiked more than the other too. Left leg comes up, lengthen out through the descending colon now. Are you getting bitten by ants? <laughs> it's really playful. Good, come back center. And uh, good. that's good, that's how it should be, right? Right, bent knee. You drop your left hand to the ground, rotate through the torso, lift the right arm up. Okay, and come back center. Fold forward in the center. Namaste.